So up until this point, most of the React code that we've written has been pretty basic. Uh, we've learned how to pass our HTML through our render function for our components. And we've also talked about um, the class attribute and other attributes uh, that you have to consider when you're writing your markup. In this video, we're going to talk about something called a prop. Now, what exactly is a prop? If we look on the documentation page of here at React, um, you'll see the top of here, there's a brief description of what a prop is. And I want to highlight what I think is the most important part to understand, which is the outer component exposes a simple property to do something. Let's talk about what props can do. If I wanted to pass a prop to my message component, I would do it by typing, um, what if I had a prop and I called it text? And props are kind of like attributes for your HTML, only you can make them up. Now, you can't have spaces in between them like this. That'll cause an error. Instead, type it like that. Uh, anyway, they're kind of like attributes in regular HTML. And so if I wanted the text of my message to be um, peace, I could then use it here. It would be a property of this component. And how do I use it? If I remove what I've typed in, and I'm just going to have a div with one p tag, I could use it, or I can access that prop by having curly brackets and then typing this dot props dot text. And when I save it and come back to my page, you'll see that my uh, component has updated and it's got the new text for the message. Uh, just really quickly, in the last video, we set up the server to uh, use JSX transformer. Uh, if you want your browser to reload without you having to do it yourself, you can add this code here, just after the browser sync.net. So right here on line 12, you can just add this, and, I, and I'll, leave a, I'll leave this in the video description so you can copy it. So that's a simple example of how you can use props in your component. Why don't we take a look at using the React Bootstrap library and some of their props, because they've got a ton of them. I'm going to remove this. And what I'm going to do is going to create an instance of the button. So var button equals react bootstrap dot button. And what I want to do is create a simple component I'll just call it my button like that, my BTN. Set that equal to react dot create class. And we're just going to render a simple button and we're going to pass one of the bootstrap props to it. So let's get our render function ready. What we want to do is return a button and I'll just put um, I don't know click oops it's like that and then down here my button and close it and let's just save it and you'll see when it refreshes we have our button nice and ready if you're familiar with bootstrap you'll know that there's several types of buttons and they have different colors and with the react bootstrap library you can use um, some of their props to determine which color you want so let's say I wanted to pass one here I can put BS style equals two and success is the bootstrap class for green. 
and you'll see over here when the browser refreshes, we'll have a green button. Let's see what it does. It looks like it's rendered a class attribute with the appropriate bootstrap classes, all by just typing BS style equals success. Let's try one more. How about BS size? And I believe large is a, slide, a size. And there we, now we have a larger button. There's one other way to include props in your React components. And this is an ES6 uh, way to do it with the spread attribute. Let's say I had multiple buttons and I had a lot of components and uh, maybe they were all gonna use the same attributes. They were all pretty common. It could save us some time and some, I don't know, lines of code if we were to pass them as a spread uh, property. So if I took that out and I pasted it down here, I could then use the spread dot 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 this dot props. And why don't we change this to primary just so we know that it worked. And then I'll save it. And now you see my button has turned blue. And again, that's an ES6 method of doing it. And that's going to be it for props and this video.